Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on the panel that is farthest away from our closure flap. Okay, so this is our closure flap. <clears throat> so I've got that on the right. And that's how I'm doing my book. I'm doing that my book with this on the right. Okay, so we're gonna work with the panel all the way on the left, okay? And we are gonna add all of the interactive pieces. So I'm gonna tell you what you need to cut. So if you want to follow along with me and cut as I give you the measurements. You need one piece that I've labeled piece A, okay? And that measures 10 and one quarter by 10. So 10 and one quarter by 10. And you're gonna score that. I'll actually move my book out of the way. So you are going to score that with the longer side across the top. So 10 and one quarter is at the top and you want to score that at one inch and one and three quarters. Okay, one inch and one and three quarters. So that's my A piece. And then you need a B, which measures 10 by nine and five eighths, okay? So 10 inches by nine and five eighths of an inch. And for this one, you are going to score it with the shorter end, the nine and five eighths across the top of your scoreboard. And you are going to score it one inch and one and five eighths of an inch. So one, and one and five eighths. And that is piece B, okay? And go ahead and label your pieces with pencil as you go. And then we have C. C is 10 by seven and a half. So 10 by seven and a half. You are gonna score this piece with the seven and a half inch across the top at one half of an inch. And that's piece C. And then we have D, which is 10 by six and a half. And this one you are also going to score with the short end across the top at one half of an inch. Okay, so that's piece D, 10 by six and a half. Short across the top, score at one half of an inch. Okay. Okay, and then we have two pieces which I am labeling E and F, okay? So these are identical. You need to cut those to 10 inches by seven and one quarter. 10 by seven and one quarter. And we are going to place these with our shortest end across the top. And we are going to score at one half of an inch and three quarters of an inch, okay? So one half and three quarters. So that is piece E and piece F. Okay, so then you need G and H and these two are also identical. And G and H are eight inches by six and five eighths of an inch. So eight by six and five eighths. We're gonna put the shorter end across the top of our scoreboard and we are gonna score at one half and five eighths of an inch. So there's one half and there's five eighths. <clears throat> and those are pieces G and H. And I and J are also identical. You need two of these. Those measure 11 inches by three and a half. So 11 by three and a half, and we're gonna score those as pockets, and the pockets are gonna be positioned horizontally. So we need to put them in our scoreboard with the 
longest end across the top. And we're basically gonna score it one half from both ends, but I'm gonna flip it after I've scored one half here. I'm gonna flip it and score one half here. And then with the shorter end across the top, we'll score it one half. So we'll do that to both of them. And those are I and J, okay? So I'm gonna put this away, bring my board back, or my folio. I think I keep calling this my board. <laughs> so my three inch closure panel is on the right. Okay, and on the left I have the farthest large panel. We're gonna start there. Okay, so we need to take piece A, okay, and we are not going to do any mitering on this piece, okay, we're going to leave the corners alone, but we can go ahead and fold on both of our score lines, and use your bone folder against that crease to burnish those real well. So there is piece A, okay? And what we're gonna do is we are gonna attach that first flap, that one half inch flap. We are going to attach it to the right edge of this panel, okay? So you're gonna have to be real careful that you do not cover up that crease right there, okay? So when you adhere it down, and of course it's not gonna line up with your page because we've got this fold as well. But you wanna make sure when you have it down that this still opens all the way. Okay, you wanna keep it away from that crease. Just right next to it is perfect. Okay, like so. All right, so let me get my glue. Okay. So I'm basically going to adhere it right there. I need to bring this out of frame just for a second. All I'm doing is lining it up. So I've made sure that the top and bottom edges of this sheet of paper and my actual folio line up perfectly. And that when this gets folded up, it does not, this is not in the way of that. So perfect. Burnish that really well. Okay, so my A is attached to the left panel the left main panel of the folio. Okay, so we did not miter, which means that the edge of A lines up with the edge of the book, but that's okay because we have a couple more pieces that are gonna go in here and we'll miter those. Um, but this one was, this one is a full inch, long, inch wide. This flap is an inch wide because it's one of our base pages. So um, I kept that, I made that longer so when we added the other elements in here, which only have a half inch flap, they wouldn't add too much bulk. They wouldn't end at the same spot. And we're not mitering these because we don't want those two pieces to both be mitered and again, end at the same spot and just create bulk. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so that's why we didn't miter that one.
Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's um, keep this folded outward so it's not so it's not on top of the main left panel of our folio. Let's get it out of the way. And we're gonna take B, our, P, our B piece. Oh, we already did the scoring. <laughs> we're not gonna miter this one either, and we're only gonna fold on that first one half inch flap, because this is another main page that comes off of the panel. And this one is gonna get adhered to the left edge of our left panel, okay? So we will line it up directly against the left edge. Just like that. <clears throat> For this one, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna put it where I want it, hold it in place, Put my glue on my flap and then tuck that flap back that flap back under. Okay. So there is B. It is attached to the left. It's attached to the left of the main of the left panel. <laughs> That's what it looks like, okay. So let's go ahead and open that. Well, actually, let's fold this one shut, okay? So it is sitting on top of our main left panel. And then we're gonna grab C, <clears throat> okay? And this has exactly one score line. So let's fold, burnish. And we do want to miter. We do want to miter these corners. Hopefully with scissors that are not dull. <laughs> okay. So I just start at that score line. Don't cut into the score line, but I start at it. And snip up. Okay. <clears throat> and then this is going to get adhered to the right edge of piece B. So it is going to go on like that. So you may, you may want to grab some scrap paper if you're using glue anyway. Um, if you're using score tape on your flaps and it's not a big deal but we're gonna apply glue to the outside of the flap and then we are just gonna line it up directly with that right edge of piece B when it's folded on top of our panel. So not the back side, the right edge, okay. Okay. All right, so now that we have C attached to B, we want to close C, fold that shut so it's sitting on top of B, which is sitting on top of your main panel. 
okay? And then piece D, which we also need to miter. So let's go ahead and fold on that one half inch score line. Burnish. And then we're gonna miter those. And that one is gonna get attached to the left side of piece C, okay? So we will apply glue to the outside of our flap and we will attach it right there. Okay. So burnish that down really well. All right, so now we can go to E and F. So these are, let me move that out of the way. So with pieces D, so basically, B, C, D, <laughs> that all these three pieces that we just adhered on top of each other, let's unfold those so they're out of the way. So we are still looking at our main panel, our main left panel of the folio, which is right here, okay? We are going to, and then of course, piece A is off to the right. This is B, C, and D, this is A. So here's our main panel here. And we want to take pieces G and H. No, I'm sorry. The pieces E and F that I already had out. So we are going to fold those only on the half inch score line. For right now, leave the other score lines alone. So just fold and burnish on the one half inch score lines. And you do want to miter those, okay? Okay, so one is going to get adhered to the left edge of this, of, I keep going the wrong direction, of the left edge of our main panel here. Okay, so it's going to get adhered right, right there. And you know what we didn't do? We never engaged that fold, that additional fold on piece B. So we can actually do that now. Okay, so B has a, a large, okay, so B has a large um, spine, so it's gonna sit like that. All right, so we want piece E to go up against the very edge of the actual chipboard panel underneath, okay? So it's gonna go right there, okay? And you can, don't cover up that crease, but you can go directly up against it. Okay, so just make sure you are on the chipboard panel and not on the spine of piece B. So this is the spine right here. So don't cover up that spine. Make sure you're at the edge of the chipboard panel and you can go right up against it. Just don't, like I said, just don't cover it up. Okay. 
And now that that's on, we can go ahead and fold on the additional score line here on this panel. And if you need help, just get a, a straight edge like your ruler and that can help you fold on that score line. Okay, so then piece E has its own little spine. I think it's just a quarter of an inch. And then we're gonna get that out of our way by folding that to the left. And then F, which is identical to E, same thing. We're just gonna put glue on the outside of that one half inch flap and we're gonna adhere it to the right of this left panel of our folio. So that's the edge of the folio right there, okay? All right, let me make sure I have, okay, yeah, so the edge of the folio is, is where piece A's one inch score line is, okay? So we're gonna cover up that one inch flap from piece A. I'm sorry, we're gonna go up against it. We're not gonna cover it up. We're just gonna sit right up against it. Perfect. Oh, I don't know how I lose my bone folder so easily. <laughs> okay, so there is F. There's E. And there's F. So let's go ahead and fold on that other score line now. So there is piece, piece F's little spine. So then we have G and H, okay? So E and F are folded outwards to get them out of your way, okay? And then G and H are gonna get adhered to the top and the bottom of our main left folio panel. So we do want to go ahead and fold only on the half inch score line for right now. Burnish those score lines. And then we can miter them as usual. They're not exactly the same width as our panel, so you're just gonna center these two pieces so that they are perfectly centered there in between, in between that panel, okay? So I'm applying glue to the uh, one half inch flap. Okay, I have something under my nail. It's driving me crazy. All right, so. Let me move this up so my head isn't in the way. <laughs> oh, all right, let's see here. Perfect. So that is beautifully centered there between the left and right edges of this main folio chipboard panel. It's covered with cardstock. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for just a minute. I'm gonna take this one and glue that next. So the easiest way to do that is to keep this one down and then you can just line up the edges of this one with the edges of that one. Perfect, okay. So we are almost finished with all of the main and elements of the left panel. We have two pockets to put in 
And then we can do the main elements of the middle panel, or the right one, I should say. All right, let's go ahead and fold on these score lines now. These two flaps that we just adhered, they have another score line exactly one eighth of an inch away from the first one. Those are little itty bitty one H, one H, one eighth of an inch spines. So just go ahead and make sure those are folded. Okay. Okay, perfect. Oh, I cannot wait to see what this is like when we're done. Okay, so, oh, pockets, pockets. <laughs> we have two more pockets. I'm getting way ahead of myself. All right, so for our pockets, we have we're not gonna miter the tops, we're just gonna miter where these little square corners are. You can see that we're gonna cut those off at an angle. So we're gonna do this exactly. So that's what it will look like when we're done. Okay. But we are not going to miter the top, the top, um, the tops of the side flaps here. Okay, so let's fold those on all three score lines. All right, and these two pockets are going to get attached to, so we've got G and we have H. Those are flat down. And then the next two pieces are E and F. Okay, so these are E and F. And we do want these to be opened up because the pockets are gonna go inside of those two pieces. So one is gonna go here and one is gonna go here, okay? And of course, we do want the pocket openings to be facing that way. So I've got piece E over here. I've got it unfolded, and then I'm just gonna take this pocket and I'm going to adhere it to its edge. Now this piece has a quarter inch spine there. Don't cover that up. Just stay up against that first score mark, that first score mark that you come across um, from this side. So what I like to do with my pockets is I am only going to put glue on the big one, the big flap, because that will allow me to burnish this one really, really well. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna line that up. I'm not covering that first score mark. I'm just up right against it best as I can anyway. Okay. <clears throat> so by only applying glue to that one, I can open it up and I can access it directly and burnish it. Then I will apply glue to the two remaining flaps and secure those down at the same time. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then same exact thing with the remaining pocket. It's gonna go on piece F, okay? So on the left edge, but again, it's got a one quarter inch spine. 
So stay to the right of that first score mark you come across coming in from the right. So stay just up against that, don't cover it up. Hey, I'm recording, sweetie. What? I'm recording. Oh, sorry. It's okay, honey. Sorry, viewers, if you're watching it. All right, so same thing here. Exactly the same thing. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so all of our main elements are on, yay. Okay, so G and H will go down first, and then the two panels that have the pockets on the inside, which are E and F, they will go down next. Doesn't matter which one you have on top or which one is on the bottom. And then pieces B, C, and D, which are these three over here, they'll get folded down and then piece A comes in from the right and it is on the very top. And once we have all of our other less, less major pieces <laughs> attached and everything's matted, that's gonna fill up beautifully. And it'll all sit on top of each other perfectly. At least that's the plan. Okay, so we can move on to the left panel, which is right there. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna tell you what you are cutting and scoring. And make sure you have your pencil handy so you can um, label each piece as we go. So piece A, piece A measures 10 and a quarter by 10. Okay, so we've got 10 and a quarter by 10. And you actually wanna score it with the longer end across the top of your scoreboard. So 10 and a quarter goes across the top of your scoreboard and you are gonna score at one inch and one and three quarters. So there's one and here's one and three quarters. Okay, so that's piece A. <laughs> All right, piece B. Piece B uh, measures exactly 10 by 10. Okay, so 10 by 10, so it doesn't matter which side you score on because they're both the same. And you're gonna score at one inch and one and three quarters of an inch. So the piece is 10 by 10 and you're scoring on any side at one and one and three quarters. Okay, that's piece B. Then we have C which measures 10 by eight and three quarters. And on this one, you are gonna take the, yes, the eight and three quarters, so your shorter side needs to be at the top of your scoreboard. And you're gonna score at one inch and one and a half inches. And that's piece C. Okay, and then we're gonna take, I'm sorry, we're gonna cut two pieces that you can label D and E, and they measure seven and one quarter by five and nine sixteenths of an inch. So nine sixteenths of an inch is just, is just a sixteenth of an inch past the halfway point. So you're gonna cut to five and a half and then go one sixteenth, you're gonna, you know, measure up to five and a half in your paper cutter and go a sixteenth of an inch bigger. So five and nine sixteenths that way. 
and seven and a quarter the other way. And then we're gonna put both of those in our scoreboard so that shorter end is at the top. And we're gonna score it one half. And five eighths of an inch. Okay. So one half. And five eighths. And those are labeled D and E. Okay. And then your piece F. Piece F measures seven and five eighths by eight and a half. Okay. Seven and five eighths by eight and a half. And you're gonna take the shorter end, so the seven and five eighths length, and that's gonna sit at the top of your scoreboard. And for this one as well, you are gonna score it one half and five eighths. And that's piece F. And then we have G, which measures three by nine and a half. Three by nine and a half. Once you've got that cut, put it so the longer end is across the top. You're gonna score it one half, and then you're gonna rotate two turns and score it one half on this end. And then you're gonna put the shorter end across the top, and you're gonna score it one half. So we basically just made the beginnings of a pocket. And that's G, okay? So we have piece H, which measures eight and a half by five, okay? So eight and a half by five. And this one, we're gonna take the shorter end at the top of our scoreboard. And we are going to score at, oh wait, no. This is eight and a half by five and five eighths. Did I cut that right? I did not. So let me go do that again. Yeah, I, let's see here. Okay, so here is our new piece H. It measures eight and a half by five and five eighths, okay? We are going to put that shorter end at the top of our scoreboard. And we are going to score at one half and five eighths of an inch. And that is piece H. Okay. All right. And then we have two identical pieces that I have labeled I and J. Okay, I and J. And they measure nine and a half by three and a half. Bud, sound off please. Okay, and then what you're gonna do with these is you are going to put the long end at the top of your scoreboard. You're gonna uh, score it one, half of an inch. You're gonna rotate that two turns and score on this end at one half of an inch. Okay, and then you're gonna put the short end at the top and you guessed it, you're gonna score at one half. So we've just made a pocket. Okay, so do the same thing with I. So that's I and J, okay? Well, we're getting to the end. So we've got J and K, I mean, sorry, K and L. These two are also identical and they measure eight and a half by four, okay? So eight and a half by four and we are just going to score at one half an inch with the shorter end across the top of our scoreboard. So one half of an inch. Okay, 
So that's K and L. Okay, and then we have piece M, M as in Mary. And this is pretty big. It's 11 inches long by six and a half wide. And we are gonna keep that long end, the 11 inch end at the top of our scoreboard. We're gonna score at one half of an inch. We're gonna rotate that two turns and score from the other end at one half of an inch. And then we are gonna put the short end across the top of our scoreboard and score again at one half of an inch. So we've just created a pocket again. So that's piece M. And then piece N, N as in Nancy, is 11 by three and a half. So 11 by three and a half, and we're gonna do the exact same thing with the longer end across the top. We're gonna go one half from both ends. And then the shorter end across the top, we're gonna do one half. So that's piece N, and that is all of the major pieces for the center panel. So we will go ahead and start um, getting those pieces ready together. <clears throat> okay, so we have piece A. Let's go ahead and fold and burnish on both score lines. Okay, and we are not going to miter this one inch flap. We're gonna keep it as it is, okay? All right, so then what we wanna do, <laughs> piece A is going to get adhered to the left edge of our center panel. Don't let this little line confuse you. This line is just where, uh, this line is just where my two pieces of cardstock met that covered up all the chipboard so my center panel is actually from there to there, okay? And piece A is gonna get adhered to the left edge, okay? So the one inch flap, that one inch flap is gonna get adhered to the left. Of course, I like to adhere by folding that flap flat down and using the folded edge as my guide, okay? So we'll put glue on the outside of that one inch flap. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold that under and use the folded edge as my guide. And that is gonna go directly against the left edge of this panel, but you're not gonna overlap. You're not gonna overlap that space. Okay, you're just gonna go up against where those two pieces of chipboard meet. You're gonna go up against that indentation, but you're not gonna overlap it. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna open that up and score or burnish this way. I feel like I maybe should have mitered a little bit, but it's good, it's good. Okay, so that's piece A. That's what that looks like. So let's fold that so it's out of the way. Okay, so that we can see our main panel. And we're gonna take piece B. And again, we are gonna fold on both score lines. Burnish those folds. And exact same thing, but on the opposite side of our panel Piece B is going to get adhered with that one inch flap to the left edge. So I'm gonna fold that flap under and use the folded edge as my guide. Okay, I'm gonna cut just a 16th of an inch off of the height of this. I don't wanna miter these because the pieces that are gonna, that are gonna go in here later or soon, if we have too many mitered pieces on top of each other, it's gonna create bulk. So, all right, there we go. So let's apply glue to that one inch flap, the outside of it. And then I'm gonna 
I'll fold that under and use that folded edge again as my guide. And again, I am not overlapping. I'm not covering up that little indentation where the two pieces of chipboard meet right there. I'm not covering that up. Perfect, again, burnish that real well. Okay. <clears throat> so that is, <clears throat> that's what it looks like with both, both B and C, or A and B, okay? Like so. All right, so we're gonna keep A off to the left. Let's see here. We're gonna keep B off to the left. And let me just make sure I'm doing this correctly. Yeah, okay. So we are gonna be working with piece B, okay? So this is B, and instead of having it folded shut, we're gonna leave it in the open position, and we're gonna work on this edge right here, okay? So that edge. <clears throat> so let's take C and fold on both score lines and burnish. And we are definitely going to miter these. Okay. It can be a slight miter. It doesn't have to be a real steep angle. But that's what it will look like, okay? <clears throat> and again, we are going to take that piece and we are basically going to adhere that one inch flap to the left edge, but as you can tell by now, I like to fold mine under and use the, use the folded edge as my guide. Okay, sorry, my dog was being mischievous. Okay, so let's apply glue. <clears throat> Gonna fold that flap under. Make sure the rest is nice and flat. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> so that is PC. Okay, with its with its gusset over there on the on the right. Okay. Okay, so next we want to attach pieces D and E. So we are going to be keeping all of these pieces unfolded. So B is unfolded, C is unfolded, and now we are working on the inside. So if we were to call this the front or the outside, this would be the inside of piece C. We're gonna be working there. Let's take D and E, which are identical, and we are going to fold only on the one half inch score line. We're not gonna fold on that little five eighth of an inch line. Burnish those real well. And let's go ahead and miter those. Okay, so we are going to adhere one of them. Cricket! What is it? 
Okay, so we are gonna adhere one of them. I've got D in my hand. Okay, we have not folded on that 5 8 of an inch score line yet. So that is completely unfolded, which is going to help us to adhere this one half inch flap without getting in our way. So that is going to get adhered to the top of PC. So this is PC, but you wanna make sure you line it up with the very right edge, okay? The right and the top edge. Just like so, okay? So it's gonna be perfect because we have this giant, PC has this giant gusset here. It's going to be able to accommodate it. It fits perfectly within the width of PC. So let's apply glue to our one half inch flap. Okay. Burnish that real well. Let that dry for a minute and do the exact same thing to E, but on the bottom edge. And again, make sure it's lined up with the right, the right and the bottom. So there you have pieces D and E attached to the inside of C, okay? So then we're gonna scoot over and be working on the inside of B. <laughs> so I can go ahead and label those on the inside as well. So here's B. Um, and there is, remember there is a quarter inch I believe that is or maybe that's a half yeah there's a half an inch spine on the right and there's a three-quarter inch spine on the left so just make sure you don't cover those up we're working within page B okay and what we want to do there we want to take F and we're gonna need G in a minute so with F, we want to fold only on the half inch score line and burnish that down and then miter. We don't wanna fold on the 5 8 of an inch score line yet because again, that'll just get in my way when I'm adhering down the half inch flat. So, okay, so this is our piece B, okay, right here. And we are going to take F and we are going to adhere it to the very top, except why do I have it too long? Did I score in the wrong direction? I did, no, I, did. I don't know what the heck I did. <laughs> okay, so with piece F, it currently measures seven and five eighths by eight and a half. We wanna take it down to eight and one quarter. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take it down to eight and a quarter, but maybe even an additional 16th of an inch. So the final measurement for piece F, F is in Frank, is seven and five eighths by about eight and three sixteenths, eight and a quarter, eight and three sixteenths. Okay, and we are still, it is correct that we took our, uh, let's see. So the shorter end, yeah. So the shorter end, we still scored on the shorter end. That's still correct, obviously, <laughs> by one half and five eighths of an inch. So now it's gonna fit within piece B, okay? Within the two spines that are surrounding piece B, okay? So 
So from here to here, it's eight and a quarter. So I cut this down to a sixteenth of an inch shorter than eight and a quarter. Okay. So let's go ahead and apply glue to the outside of our flap. Oh, wait a minute. That's a funky miter. I have no idea how I did that. Oh, because I, <laughs> you need to re-miter that one side after you've cut it down. The miter won't be good anymore. So re-miter that one end. Now let's apply glue to the outside of that flap. Okay, and we are going to, again, line it up, folding that under, lining it up with the very top edge of B. Hopefully without getting my frizzy hair in the camera. Perfect, okay. Yep, that's good. All right, so, as you can see, it works out beautifully, okay? So now we are going to, oh, you know what we didn't do? We did not um, refold, on, I'm sorry, we didn't fold on these 5 eighths of an inch score lines here. So I'll just use my ruler to kind of help me get that going. There we go. So now this piece has a little tiny 1 eighth of an inch spine. As does that piece okay and then same thing for F perfect so now that has F piece F has its little 1 8 of an inch gusset as well all right so now we can take G and we want to go ahead and assemble that as a pocket so let's cut off those two square corners that were created when our score lines intersected. And then we can fold and burnish on all three of our, of our score lines. And that is gonna go on the very bottom half of piece B, okay? And it's gonna sit right inside Oh my goodness, I measured this one incorrectly too. I don't know how I did that. So piece G, we cut to nine and a half, but it actually needed to be nine and three sixteenths. Okay, so I've altered piece G, so it is now um, nine and three sixteenths, not nine and a half, okay? And it's still three inches wide. So I just rescored it on that one side and I cut off the, I remitered it. So this was the old half inch flap there. I'm gonna keep that, it's gonna get glued down, it's not gonna be a bother. <laughs> All right, so now, it's going to fit perfectly within piece B. Okay, so I'm only going to apply glue to my bottom flap. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so 
Let's see how I can open this up and access the inside of that half inch flap. All right, and then I will apply glue to the side flaps. Make sure those are folded down. Okay. Beautiful. So there's G. Okay. All right. So then we're going to scoot over. And now we are working within, this is our center. That's our center um, panel. Okay. So here's all the left stuff that we did. All right, and then this is the center. Piece A was the first one we adhered to the center, so let's keep that out of the way. And everything else is over here, out of the way. So we're working on the center. So we need piece H. And I cut that one wrong too. I'm on a roll. Okay, so I discovered what the problem is. So this panel when I cut this piece of chipboard, both of these large panels, they were eight and a half inches wide, but you know, we wrapped them and then we adhered them to our other panels. And then we put these pieces on top of them and we stayed away from the very, very edge, right? Where the chipboard meets chipboard. So the space in between slowly shrinks because you're accounting for all these pieces, the edges of these pieces, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so um, it works out to have piece H cut at eight and a quarter, not eight and a half. So I just cut that down to eight and a quarter. Um, so before you glue yours on, you can just kind of measure in between the space that you have in your panel. So mine goes exactly eight and five sixteenths. So I'm gonna cut mine to eight and a quarter which is a 16th of an inch shy of the space that I have here. So for me, it works out eight and a quarter and we're gonna keep the width at five, okay? And the scoring is fine. We've scored on the short side, so we're okay. So let's fold only on the one half inch flap, burnish that and miter. Okay, and then this is going to, okay, so this one, let me just measure that. Okay, so I have this one adhered um, close to the center of our center panel, but about five inches up, so. So I'm just gonna measure five inches up and I'm gonna make a mark. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And then once we put glue on this, we'll fold it flat under and then we will use those two little tick marks to ensure that we have lined this up at five inches. Okay, just like that. And once we eventually engage this other score line, it will end up lining up perfectly with the bottom of our panel. So let's go ahead and apply glue there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's fold that under. too far to the right. Let's see if I can slide that over. Perfect.
Beautiful. So we can double check that by seeing how much space we have above our, which is exactly five inches. So it is in the center and exactly, just about exactly five inches. Perfect. Okay, and there we have it. There's piece H with its little eighth of an inch spine, okay? All right, and then we have, I think I and J, yes, are identical. I and J. And what we're gonna do with these two pieces, we're gonna go ahead and close up piece C, which has D and E attached. We're gonna close that up, okay? And we're gonna do one more. Close that up one more time. So we are now looking at piece B, which, okay. So we are looking at the top of B. Okay, so with I and J, okay. So let's cut off the corners, both of those pieces. Okay, I and J. Fold on all three score lines and burnish those down. Oh my gosh, those are measured incorrectly as well. Those need to be eight and a quarter wide. Nine and a quarter. <laughs> nine and a quarter wide, not nine and a half. So all these pieces that I am cutting incorrectly, you will have cut correctly because they will, they flashed across your screen. Because I will make sure I do that. All right, perfect. So now our pieces I and J will fit perfectly on top of piece B. So let me make note of that. So those were nine and one quarter, not nine and a half. Okay, great. So there we have those. And the first one is just going to simply get adhered to the very bottom edge of B. You're going to line up the bottom edge, the right edge, and the left edge. Okay. So it might be easier if we go ahead and piece C here. And instead of having that tucked under, do that. That way you can flatten out B on both sides and not cause trauma to any of your spines, okay? So let's take I. We can even do this if needed. Let's take piece I. And again, I'm just gonna put glue on the bottom, longer flap. And adhere that down to the bottom edge of B. Perfect. hurting any of these spines here because we've flattened everything out, okay? So glue on our side flaps. Okay. Okay, and then PC. So this one ends up being, I believe, three and three quarters. Three inches. 
Yep. And so when we eventually get to the to uh, L and K, once we have that, those on, well, basically it's going to be three and three quarters of an inch between our pockets. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for the next one, we want to go four inches above the bottom edge of piece B. Okay. So we're still working on B. We want to go four inches above that. So I'm just measuring from four inches up and I'm making a little tick mark. And same thing over here. So that, I know exactly where to adhere piece J, okay? Okay. I believe that's perfect. Let's see here. Four inches. Four inches. Perfect. side flaps. Okay. <clears throat> piece I and piece J. So if we put C back under there and then make sure that that spine is sitting up, you can see we have two beautiful pockets there, okay? And from the bottom of this one to the top of that one should be, yeah, four inches. Okay, perfect. I think I said three and three quarters earlier, but all right, so let's go ahead and keep that, keep this in this position so we can still flatten out our spines now we are going to work on pieces K and L, which are going to be the closure lids for these two pockets, okay? So what we want to do there, okay, so pieces K and L are eight and one quarter by four inches, and we, um, you would have scored at one half and five eighths, even though in the video you only saw me doing one half, but you'll have a score mark at both one half and five eighths. Okay. So what we want to do now is go, let's see here. Yeah. Okay. So, so our score lines are at the top. Okay, they're sitting at the top of our, of our two pieces. We wanna measure down from the very, very top corner, one and three quarters, make a tick mark. One and three quarters. Okay. one and three quarters. And then we are going to make a tick mark at the very center of the bottom edge, which will be four and one eighth, one eighth of an inch. Okay. And then what you wanna do is you wanna cut a straight line from, you wanna basically cut this corner off. You're gonna cut from here to here, and then you're gonna cut from here to here, okay? All right, so there's K and L, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, fold only on that one half inch flap. Don't fold on the five eighths of an inch flap yet. Okay. 
Okay, so. So we want to take our lids and place them over our pockets, but for this bottom one, doesn't matter which one, we'll, we'll just go in alphabetical order. Um, so for K, well, we don't want to go directly up against, we don't want to butt it up against this pocket because it won't open if we do that. So leave a little space. Okay, I would say a good eighth of an inch. So you'll see, you know, you'll see white card stuck under there, but that's not going to bother me. So let's go ahead and apply glue to the outside of that flap. Let me bring this down a little bit. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, I forgot to miter. Not too late. <laughs> okay. <laughs> miter those suckers just the half inch. We haven't even folded on the other line yet. Okay. All right. So those are mitered. Let me reapply my glue. Do that again. I think that's just about perfect. Okay. All right, so now we can fold on that other score line, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on first, okay? So as you can see, how much space we have between the flap of this lid and the top of this pocket. It's about three eighths of an inch. So when we put this down, we wanna leave about three eighths of an inch again, okay? Perfect. I eyeballed that and got it just right. <laughs> All right. There we go. So we've got that pocket lid, this pocket lid. Now let's go ahead and fold on those additional score lines. our little spine on that one okay so that is piece K and piece L all right if you want to close those well I guess there's really no good way to do that um, anyways okay so let's go ahead and take C remember it's got two little flaps on, um, on the back side so fold that whole thing under Make sure F is under as well, okay? So that now all you have is piece, um, this is piece B, but it's got I, J, K, and L on top, okay? So this is sitting on top. 
And then we want to take A and fold that shut. Actually, let's go ahead and get all this out of our way. Let's open that up so it's out of our way. All right, make sure this one is flattened down so we don't hurt that little spine. And then we can flatten out A because we're going to want to work on A without hurting this large spine. So we want to make it so we can flatten it down. All right. Okay, so then we have piece M, which is a pocket. So we need to first take off those corners at an angle. And then we can fold and burnish on all three score lines. Okay. So M is going to get adhered to the left edge of A, which is right here. Don't cover up that spine. I am gonna flatten it out, but just remember not to go over it. And we want the pocket opening to the right. So I've got my long flap here on the left, and I'm basically going to adhere it to the left edge of this page, okay? All right, perfect. So I'm going to apply glue to just the longer flap for now. Okay, it's perfect. So I'll open that up and burnish it from the inside. and then I will apply glue to my smaller flaps. Okay, <laughs> and then we can close that up. Okay, perfect. Just so you can see how even that is, lines up beautifully with piece B, with piece A, sorry, not to confuse you. <laughs> Perfect. And then last for this center panel, we have piece N. So let's cut those squares off again at an angle. Let's go ahead and fold and burnish on all three score lines. And this pocket is also going to get adhered with the opening to the right, and it's going to get adhered in the exact same spot as the last one, okay? So basically what we'll do is, again, the edge of this page, so don't cover up your gusset, but right there. My large flap is off to the left, my opening is off to the right. And I'm just gonna put it directly on top of that last one, okay? So then we have a pocket here and a pocket here, okay? Okay. I'll try not to bang my head this time. <laughs> All right, there we go. Just like so. I love when that glue comes out because it means I've got really good spread underneath. Okay.
There we go. Okay, so N is on. And that is what it looks like, okay? Pocket here and a pocket here, okay? So this one is gonna sit on the top. So basically this is what this whole piece looks like, this whole center, pan center panel, okay? So we have the two double pockets here. And then we open that and there's gonna be a, there is gonna be something here eventually. And then we've got these. And this opens up. And this is the center, and we're gonna have a waterfall going horizontally across there. We're gonna have something on here as well. And this opens up further. And then we've got this main panel and this main panel. This is a pocket with a large flap. Two flaps here, okay? So that is the center panel with all of the main pieces attached. And that is what it looks like from the top for now. Okay, perfect. And that's what it looks like from there. All right, so moving on.